if it happened to me, it can happen to you. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. This is a life changing opportunity. Last week, her journey took her to Kenya in the east, Ghana, and her birthplace, Nigeria, in the west, and ending up down south in Mozambique, Angola, and South Africa. She saw thousands of girls all wanting to live the same dream. I've entered Africa's Next Top Model because I want to be the first Africa's Next Top Model. I dream it. I, I sleep it. I want to be African Next Top Model. But from the masses, only 12 made the cut. Congratulations, you're coming to Cape Town. When she called me, I was like, is this a prank call? And I looked at the number again, and she said, this is Oluchi. I was just like, oh my god, I can't believe this. I think I'm going to cry. And she's like, it's OK, you can cry. 12 amazing models from eight different African countries in a face-off to win the title of Africa's Next Top Model. This I got a girl home. I'm here to stay. They need to go. The battle is about to begin, north, south, east, and west. Which of these 12 stunners will be strutting away with the first prize of a model contract from DNA Models in New York and $50,000 in cash? Uh, some of the girls say they're going to win and they're so confident and stuff. But I think South Africa is taking this one. I'm the only girl from Uganda, but listen, I got this. I got it. 12 girls facing off in the ultimate African model smackdown. Competition's going to come out and I think the pros are going to come out as well. Hi, yeah. It's the very first Africa's Next Top Model with Oluchi. It's 8 p.m. in Cape Town on day one at the Africa's Next Top Model house. And Oluchi was on her way to get the competition started. Seeing her, she was, was so, I mean, it was so exciting. I didn't really help it to go and run all the way there and just give her a hug. Are you liking the new house? Yeah! yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Congratulations. Out of thousands of girls we saw from our travel, you are the final 12 chosen to compete in Africa's Next Top Model. <laughs> this is the first time Africa's Next Top Model is coming to Africa. So you're all making history for yourself and for your country, okay? <laughs> now let's get started. Get started with what? Are we already doing something tonight? Your first challenge, we're gonna be shooting a video and still shoot for the opening sequence of Africa's Next Top Model. <laughs> Here's the thing, we only have space for 10 girls in the opening logo, which means two of you will be leaving us at the end of this challenge. Two girls leaving? That, that's reality check. If I have to leave, I just don't want to be one of the first two. All 12 of you are really beautiful, but for the first challenge, we're going to make some of you cleaner and some of you a little bit dirtier which means it's makeover time. I'm excited about the makeover because I want to see what they're planning for my hair or for my look or for me. Welcome to Africa Next Top Model, ladies, and good luck to every one of you. This is not a holiday. This is going to be hard work. South Africa, destination of choice for Africa's next top model. Uniquely different and proud of it. 080 Niger for life. Quality brands by P&G. Helping you look and feel your best. It's our first day in beautiful Cape Town and it's makeover time. Set up the girls with Africa's Next Top Model makeover guru, Carl Isaac. If there's anyone in this town that can get the best out of the 12 finalists, it's Carl. Carl is creative in her makeup. 
I've seen him work with some of the world's top designers and magazines, including British Vogue, Glamour UK, Italian Marie Claire, and many more. These are the before shirts. Let's get out the chain so I can get rid of some hair. Welcome everyone. Hi. Now my brief from Oluji is to get you all looking yes for the logo shoots. Yeah, Carl's amazing. I'm, I've worked with him before, so I'm really excited to see what he has in store for us. We're going to take you out of your comfort zone that maybe what you're used to looking like and do something a little unexpected. Mm. My hair's always been long, so if Carl wants to chop it off, like I might have a little bit of a problem with it. I don't want to cut my hair. There is no way. No. No. Mm -mm. No way. <laughs> I know Luchi wants the best for all of us, so I see all of us coming out the other side looking fabulous. These girls look petrified. Let's get started. So the makeovers had begun, and with what Oluchi wanted from Carl, there was bound to be some drama. Okay. Joyce, you ready? <laughs> I am getting rid of this blonde hair. Baby, it's not doing you any favors. So Carl took up the white wig and I was like really glad because now we could burn it and that would be the end of it. So yeah, I'm glad. We are going to relax this beautiful hair, put a treatment in. I know your texture's fine and you're worried about breakage, but yeah. you have absolutely no worries. Okay. We're gonna put a treatment in for you and then we're gonna go short and relax. All over this gorgeous face. I love my new look. It's different, it's edgy, it's like um, Chinese girl meets Justin Bieber with straight uh, bang and uh, it's just a new look and it's a new me and it's great. I love it. Yeah. Carl wants to put extensions <coughs> in my hair, but my hair is so short and it's so weak from all the coloring and all the treatment and stuff like that. So the only way to go is for him to give me a wig. Ta-da! So this is my new look. So Joyce and Rosalind were both happy with their makeovers. But back in here, Marwa was about to get some bad news. Marwa, are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut your hair. I want to take you short with that gorgeous face, show your neck. Cut it off. You ready? No. Tough, we're doing it. Come. I don't want to cut my hair. There's no way. Okay, I want it all one length here. To that all in Just line there. there. Or maybe there. I'm scared. I just... I don't want it to be so short. I'm sorry I'm crying, but just... Okay. Okay. Maybe it's a little bit longer. No. I love my hair and I think it looks much better on me longer. And on top of that, I broke a promise. I promised my fiance I would keep my hair long just for him because he wanted that. So yeah, fine. That made me cry like a baby. You're gonna need to face this girl in the mirror because this is the new Marwa. Okay, you have to look at her and learn to love her. Okay, it's just another version of you. As a model, you have to learn to be versatile. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I feel for her, because I've had my hair cut before from mermaid's length to, like, shoulder length, and I cried as well, and she didn't want a haircut. So I hope it doesn't happen to me either. But, yeah, I almost cried for her. And Marwa was not the only one getting emotional. <laughs> and now? <laughs> it's going to be perfectly funny. You're going to look real good. I not cut my hair. You don't want to cut your hair? No. Well, Michaela seems to be so always really into herself in the sense that she likes looking pretty, like a Barbie. So she just felt like the hair cut is going to like undermine that and she stay crying. Nobody tell me about this. Cry, cry, mm -hmm. cry, cry, cry. I was really pissed off. I wish I could punch somebody in the face. Like, get serious already. A lot of girls would die to be here, and just because they cut your hair, you're crying? Like, seriously, you want to go home? We need tissues on standby. 
everywhere. <laughs> you ready? Okay. Just don't say you're taking it off. I'm cutting it off. Oh my God. Short red pixie cut all the way around your face. Four inches long. It's so I was like... And then I started crying. I'm only kidding, I'm only dying you red. I'm not <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Red. We're making you red. I was really thinking no one's going to recognise you. <laughs> Cole, you are evil. I love my makeover. I'm not going to lie, I was scared. I went to bed last night feeling really calm. And then I woke up this morning with this burning fireball of anxiety, which probably should have been my first clue. But yeah, I like it. I really like my new look. I think it suits me and it's it's all right, I like it. And it's kind of French slut look style thing. And yeah, I'm going to rock this look, I love it. I hate my new look because I, I think it's not about me. I don't like uh, short hair. I don't like uh, this, but whatever. Coming up. Right, let's have Michelle on. Trust no b I'm not trusting anybody now. I'm just gonna come with a bang. Calm down. Calm down, let's just get... I'm scared. She looked great, but she failed the challenge. South Africa, destination of choice for Africa's next top model. The best moments always become great memories. As the biggest card payment solution in the country, Verve always gives you more. So make every moment count with Verve. Verve, get more out of life. Stay in style with Snap. Visit Snap Nigeria on Facebook. Quality Brands by P&G. Helping you look and feel your best. Today is like the first real challenge. Oh, word. Competition really starts today, actually. So now that we've had our makeovers done, it's back to the studio for our first real challenge, the Africa's Next Top Model logo shoot. So excited. I'm you? excited. Oh, I'm excited, but very, very, very nervous. It's the first time. Yeah. I even wrote it in my diary. I was like, Actually, <laughs> your first shoot ever. Yeah, it's first like full body, professional um, shoot. Right now, I'm feeling so intimidated because many of these girls have modeled before, and I have no experience at all. I feel for Elani because she's a complete rookie, so it's going to be interesting to see how she handles herself. For this logo shoot, we have brought in Remy Adetiba from New York. He's responsible for building so many famous brands in the state, as well as visual presentations of artists. So to have him directing the girls for today's shoot is going to be a real treat. Remy is also one of our resident judges, so the girls really need to get off to a good start with him. I can't believe I'm actually part of Africa's Next Top Model, and this is our first challenge. I can't wait. Hello, ladies. Hello. You guys liking your new looks? Yes. Having Remy, who is a creative director and photographer, taking us through our first task is awesome. So not only are we shooting video montage today, we're also taking stills that are going to be your first image and the first shots in your portfolio. 
Today's challenge is going to be about selling yourself and getting your personality across. Sell myself? I can do it. Okay now, girls, there's only room for 10 young ladies in the opening montage, so a lot is at stake. Reality check. Two girls are leaving. Do they have to keep reminding us? Okay, so it's time for hair and makeup. I see some of you have already gone in. Let's get the rest of you in styling, and let's get this started. It's really cool, really chic. They made us look like models now. Yeah! The styling, it's so nice. It's really, really nice. It's beautiful. I love it. The shoot today is exciting. Uh, it's a fast shoot. So I'm really excited to see the girls and myself. I feel good, I feel really great, I'm loving my outfit, I can't wait to get on the set. Like, I think I'm gonna give my best. I don't care what other people feel, I think I'm gonna do just fine. Wow. You all look so different from this morning. We're gonna put you all in here, I want you to go crazy, dance, give me energy, hit each other with the props, have a great time. And um, the surprise here is you're gonna get a little help from none other than Aluchi. So she's gonna show you how a pro does it. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. So the group shot was in the bag with Oluchi leading the way, but now the models would have to really show their worth as they went solo. Right, let's have Michelle on. All that's going through my mind is do this right, do it well, and be fierce. All right, now let's walk towards the camera. Standing in front of the cameras for opening sequence, traumatic. Something your audience is going to see every single time. Lean in, snarl. Ah. Beautiful. Grab your ponytail. Love that, yes. So I had fun and I, had, I gave him what he wanted. Her look was very edgy, very strong, and she brought that fierceness with every move. It was perfect. Three, two, one, let's go. Beautiful. I feel very, very happy. I love my look now. Hands in your hair. Love that. Give us a bit of a side profile. There you go. All right. I couldn't get my hands to work properly with it, but apart from that, I think I went, it all went well. Let's go to this side here. Side, there we go. I love that. Over the shoulder, beautiful. Beautiful. Working with Remy is really amazing because he helps you and he tells you what looks good because obviously you can do whatever you want but no one can tell you what you're actually looking like on camera, so that's fabulous. It seemed most of the finalists were ready for the first Africa's Next Top Model Challenge, but it was Africa's Next Top Model ready for Wumi. Huh, this girl. I'm going to show you to Remy, I'm going to show you to Africa Next Top Model those ones who feel they're better than I am, I'm not just, I'm just gonna show them that this is Wumi and she's on top of her game. All right, let's see it. Okay, well, there's that. <laughs> let's try that again. So now, give us some energy, give us some of your personality. Let's... Okay. It's a very scary personality, my dear. Here's what I'm worried about, okay? You want to give personality, which I understand. You know, doing all of this, keep modeling in mind, okay? That, that's not modely. What do you mean by that's not modely? Excuse me? What else do you want to say apart from what I gave? 
Okay, this is painful, my dear. This is painful. Okay. Yeah, that was kind of rough. She forgot she was modeling at times and she was trying to be goofy and fun. We love energy, but at the end of the day, you're selling a product. In this case, the product is herself. Terrible, like of course, he's not going to tell me that. I'm not going to. No, I can, I'll be completely honest with you <laughs> yes, if you want. Yeah, me, yeah, I think you want you want, you want honesty. Yes. Okay. I think you came with a great energy to the set. That's great. And you had moments where you knew when to turn off the fun, goofy stuff and model. The problem was, after a while, that stopped, and instead, I was getting fun and goofy that wasn't model-like. So that's going to be the key thing. If you end up staying. You know how to show your personality, but you're also going to show you're a model because at the end of the day, what sells is a model with personality. And Wumi was not the only one finding things tough. Love it. Now come to the center. Look at that center camera. Arms folded. Yeah, come closer. No, no, no. <laughs> you're a tough, you're, you're, you're the sporty one, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the, to the left side. Yeah, get the get the glove out. Let's get the glove out. No, 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 keep it on, keep it on, keep it on. I think the pressure's getting to her. I don't think she's able to blow a bubble. That's how much pressure she's feeling right now. All right, show us what you've got. Give us your personality, your take on, on, on the flag. Okay. This is how you... Come in, come in closer. Mm. Thank you. I feel like she could, if I maybe directed her further, maybe she could have done it, but some of the girls got less direction and they gave more. So I kind of had to draw back a little. For example, with the flag, I wanted to see what she had and she kind of fell flat. I really don't know, because I haven't seen the other girls. But for me, I think um, I did good and hopefully the judges will like it. I'm very nervous, I'm so scared, but excited at the same time. I mean, this may be my first professional photo shoot, and I guess I feel that this is a big deal. It's now or never. All right, we ready? Check yourself out, Check. give us some angles. All right, give us bigger movements. Give me, give me your interpretation of fun. Give me, give me fun, give me energy. Because right now I'm not getting much from you, Mara. Okay. Yeah. What do you want to do, Mara? I want to be Africa's next top model. Show me. How bad I want it? Yes. Model. Show me by modeling. Mm. Stuck now. You're stuck now? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Let's find other things you can do. Let's give you a flag. No, no, you're holding the flag, but do something fun. It doesn't have to be with the flag. It would probably be best if it was with the flag, but here we are. Here I come. Put it between your teeth. Like, bite the arr, and go. And then now walk off. There you go. That was not good at all. It was, I felt very stupid, and I felt like uh, I was not knowing what I'm doing. I just kind of listening to somebody who's giving me instructions, I'm not even doing what he's telling me to do. I felt like she walked in and just didn't want to do much. I felt like I have no clue about what I'm doing. I was so, like, cold, like iced. I didn't let myself go. When I walked into the set and I looked back and I saw the Ugandan flag, I, s I got very emotional. I started to cry because I feel like there's this heavy weight that's on me and many girls are looking at me right now and they probably 
wish to be in my position or I'm just here representing a, a whole country alone, you know. So it's very emotional for me. Just do your best. <laughs> I'm trying. You're doing good, babe. We have people at home who pushed us to be here and disappointing them is its not an option. Great. Great. That's good. There you go. All right. Make eye contact. I love it. Great. I love that. Yes. Come in. There we go. Intense face. I love that. <laughs> ah. That was hot. Yeah, it was very good. I felt very good. It was a good experience. I love the colors. I love my hair. I love the balloons. I love the director. Everything was just, to me, on point. I just decided to have fun with it and just go with the flow. So seeing a mommy like this makes me more nervous because I've never done modeling before and it gets me like really, really worried. So I don't know if I'm gonna do things right. Seeing her, she's done modeling before, so it's scary. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna step in for a second. So I know you haven't modeled before. But what's your personality as you see it? Fun. Fun, okay. Yeah, I dance a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's bring some of that to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's bring that energy. That's great energy, beautiful. I love it. Rulani? Yeah, she, she's a rookie. It was fun. A bit scary. I don't think I did that well, but it was really, really fun. It wasn't a great performance, but it was a safe, solid one. So tomorrow's elimination day, and I don't know what to expect. I know two girls have to leave, and I know definitely it's not going to be me. I do not want to leave. I do not want to leave. South Africa, destination of choice for Africa's next top model. Uniquely different and proud of it. 080 Naja for life. Etisalat, now you're talking. Quality Brands by P&G. Helping you look and feel your best. The winner of Africa's Next Top Model will receive a modeling contract from DNA Models in New York, along with 50,000 US dollars in cash and a product endorsement campaign from P&G. Hello ladies. Hi. I just want to quickly say that before we start our first elimination, the fact that I'm from Nigeria, this judging doesn't favor anyone from my home country. And the fact that our model house is in Cape Town, it doesn't favor the South African girls as well. So now let's get started and introduce our judges. Our first resident judge was just 16 years old when she was officially recognized as South Africa's first supermodel. She worked with the biggest icons in the fashion industry and her image has graced the cover of dozens of magazines, TV commercials and advertising campaigns, including one of the most famous billboards in New York Times Square. Today, she spends her time behind the lens as a successful photographer. Ladies, please welcome Josie Borain. And our next resident judge, Remy Adetiba. And our guest judge for today, someone who you're already familiar with, the man who is responsible for your fabulous makeover. Carl Isaacs. 
Now your first challenge was not only about selling yourself for the opening video sequence, but also a test shoot for your portfolio. Rosalind, let's start with you. So how do you think you did yesterday? I think I did pretty well. I wouldn't necessarily disagree. I think you did do pretty well. The problem is I expected you to do fantastic. You, you had some great angles, you had some great moments. Your energy was okay, but honestly, I thought I expected more, and I hope you, you can give more. Do you like your hair? Yes. The makeover. Yes, it's pretty big and different, but I love it. I'm trying to get into the character of the hair. The hair, yeah. I like it. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Kyle, give me. I, I love it. She was one of my amazing faces when we started off, and I immediately thought the lighter hair with the big would be amazing for a shape. Mm. Yeah, well, the transformation's fantastic. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Omomi, step forward, please. You came with great energy, and we loved that. The problem was you forgot to model half the time. And when you did model, you were modeling for stills. So your pictures are actually not bad. They're pretty, pretty nice. Your video is terrible. And considering the video is the main challenge, that's not so great. You have to remember, and you girls going forward, it's a microsecond that is your best picture. That's the sweet spot. If you're not focused, you're going to miss that sweet spot. And you've got one shot. Yeah. Yeah. It's OK to cry, but you don't let other people see you cry, because that shows how weak you are. I'm How not you're, weak. You're gonna I'm fall a apart. very strong girl, but I just felt that women, you could do better than what you did. Okay, so like, you just got emotion. Yeah, just All right. I couldn't Thank you. Move in. Thank you. Thank you. Joyce. It was a it was a bit of a mix for me. You know, you came on set with great body movement, and you, you came with some really intuitive kind of ideas. And it's like you lifted ideas right from my mind before I could even speak them. Okay. On the other hand, you know, I. I thought there was a lot of tension in your mouth. They kind of messed up your photos, especially the, the tight shots that we took. So I would say work on that, but I thought it was decent. Thank you. I would suggest that you maybe sit in front of a mirror and look how your face reacts to the mirror and practice. Well, I mean, looking at the picture here and looking at you here now, I mean, it's a huge, huge improvement. I think getting rid of the, okay. the, the hair was a great uh, choice. And can I just say, don't lose that personality I saw during scouting. Yeah. Because you're sort of fading away okay. from the video. OK, thank you. All right. Thank you, Joyce. What was interesting to shoot with you was the fact that we couldn't understand each other. Absolutely. But she would do great things. Because she couldn't understand me, but she would do great things on her own. So I can't even take a lot of credit for what you did yesterday. And unfortunately, most probably in the industry that you're going into, I think English will unfortunately have to be learned. So are you practicing English? Yeah, <laughs> I have a book edition. No, no, she's in There you go. She's doing her English. <laughs> Very good. I love the red hair. Me too. You do? More and more every day. You so do. Yeah. And good. it's perfect with your skin tone, so it makes yeah. sense. And you flick a switch, Michelle, when you come on set, which is what I love about you. You bring it, you get there, and it's poof. So keep that up. I would have liked to see more from you, but I, I, I love your look. I would work harder on your modeling, though. I think you, you could bring more to it. Okay. But you look great. Thanks. Yeah. And again, you know, use that mirror. Go through fashion magazines if this is what you girls want to go into. Study what models do, because you're incredible. I love your face but some of your poses came across too sexy and in the wrong kind of way. You were absolutely lovely on screen for me to watch, because I haven't obviously met any of you, and it was just, you were great. Thank you. I think you have great angles. But it was fun yet elegant, it was, it was, I loved it. Yeah, I agree, I, I wrote natural grace. It's something I think you bring, so keep that. It's part of you, bring that out. You're a beautiful girl, and the haircut makes you a lot stronger. You look more like a fashion model. So use it and own it. Thank you. I thought you had real potential. I mean, 
You have a great body. Yeah, you it wasn't my best. I think I've just been really reserved of late, like closed and a bit shy. Do you feel you're intimidated by the rest of the... The girls are beautiful. Okay. So it's a bit intimidating, yes. You, you know, you all have to realize you're all here because you're unique. No one else looks like you, no one has your body. And that's the point, you have to own who you are. You're an interesting one. I mean, you have a gorgeous uh, body. I think, what are you, almost as tall as a Luchi? No. no. <laughs> With the shoes, yes. Ah. <laughs> With the shoes. <laughs> Um, you know what, you, you have a strong face, but unfortunately it was, for me, strong face, kind of weak performance. Okay. So I need you to figure out your angles, both for your face and your body. And, okay. And then just bring it next time. Thank you. You know, for me, I just, if you're here, yes. you have to sort of look interested. Okay. If you really want to, then you have to be a lat okay. and interested at all times. Okay. And don't forget that this is a competition. Being shy serves nobody. I don't know how much of a model you look like today in terms of these short shorts, but this is the closest I've seen so far. Unfortunately, you know, you, you fell flat on set. Yeah, I was super stiff yesterday. Yes, and I don't understand that because you're such a fun, bubbly girl from what I've seen, so I expected more from you. Yeah, yeah you know, unfortunately, besides your, your, your the magazine or the, the, the client that you're working for, your photographer is your most important person on set. You do have to kind of do or give them what they want or need. Thank you. What I love about it is you were just prepared to give it, whether you sh weren't sure you're going to be amazing or not, you still gave it and gave it and gave it and gave it, and don't stop persevering like that. Thank you. Stop being nervous, though. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm still learning. I saw you backstage earlier on when you didn't know I was a photographer or a judge, and you had an attitude, you were sassy, you were all that, but when you got on set, you turned it off, and you were a pure professional. It was a joy to shoot you. I am blown away by her face and her professionalism, and for me, she's an inspiration just because of where she went to. Um, Thank you. And how proud she was to be a Ugandan on set and how it affected her was so beautiful to me. Thank so, you, Carl. Stay that girl. That means a lot. And on my notes here, I've written great. Aww. So obviously, I really enjoyed you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. So you have gotten all great compliments. You have to make sure you keep that up. I don't know how you're going to do that. I know. But that's more challenge on you than yeah. the rest of the girls. OK? Thank you. All right. Now it's time for us judges to deliberate. When you come back, we'll tell you which two of you will be leaving us. South Africa, destination of choice for Africa's next top model. Uniquely different and proud of it. 0809 Jaffa Life. Verve. Verve. Get more out of life. Find us on Facebook at Snap Nigeria. So what do we think? I quite like her face. Um, I think also with a little more coaching and experience, we could have a different product in her. She's very tiny. Yeah, she's quite small. So, I mean, that's not really going to work in her favor. And what do we think about uh, her? Yeah, no, that's a train wreck. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm harsh. Sorry. Come on. I'm sorry. I mean, look at that. Is that your idea of modeling? That's her idea of modeling. That's a duck face. And she is here to win. She's amazing. I mean, good yeah. job getting her. She's kind of, she's fantastic. She's very special. She's first girl scouted. Really? She also had great body movement. I think... Um, when you were shooting? Yes. I think there's some. There's something to be said for a model who knows how to use her body. Because usually they're seen as tall and gangly and they don't know. She knows her body. And, and uh, you know, 
it's, it's great for the outfit if the girl knows how to wear it and move around in it exactly. because it may, it's quite important. Yeah. All right, you, I guess we've reached our decision. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. okay. Welcome back, ladies. We have reached our decision. I have 12 girls standing before me, but I only have 10 photos in my hand. And these 10 photos represent the girls that would continue towards becoming Africa's next top model. The first name that I'm gonna call is the name of the girl the judges have voted for as the best performer in this challenge. Amito, step forward. Thank you. Congratulations. You have to keep it up. Thank you. Okay? Michaela. Okoyemi. Congratulations, you're still in the running. Safira. <laughs> Rosalind. <laughs> Rulani. <laughs> Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming Africa's next top model. Michelle. <laughs> Joycey. Don't hide that girl I found in Lagos. She's missing somewhere. Thank you. Okay. Now just four girls left. The first two girls I'm gonna call, please step to your left, and the other two step to your right. If I have to leave, I just don't wanna be one of the first two. I think those other girls should start packing their bags because I'm not going home. Mava and Steffi, step to your left, please. Amomi and Shiandre, step to your right. Amomi, which group do you think is leaving? Right now, I can't fit, but I, I want to believe that. Which group do you think you're in? I think I'm, I'm with the winning group because I'm not a loser. I'm a winner. But whatever happens, I'll take it. Unfortunately, one group will be staying and the other group must immediately go back to their house, pack your stuff, and leave. Amomi and Chiandre, you're staying in Cape Town. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, God. Can I just. Here. Congratulations.
Next top model. Just unpacked some days ago, now we have to pack again. You are all going to star in a fashion show in Johannesburg. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't looking though, but I just kind of like. Remember, you can't screw this up, huh? You can't screw this up. She called us weird, girl. Oluchi is so going to kill us.